Hello, I'm Toycat and welcome back to another second channel geography video. This is a series where I talk about geography and the world and stuff. And today I want to talk about two things that come up a lot in the comments of my other videos. The first one is pronunciation. A lot of people get really, really heavy when I pronounce something a little bit inaccurately. So if I'm talking about some vague Ecuadorian town, I might say the name how it is written rather than how it is said. And a lot of people get really angry at that and say, no, that is not acceptable. You should know the place name of every single person you're going through and you should make sure you know exactly how to pronounce it. And although this is something that makes sense, it kind of only makes sense when you think that language is something as simple as oh the words mean you know the words are written one way so they mean that thing but when it comes to place names place names are written entirely different to how they're said in a lot of places and in fact it almost gets to the point where they're two different words there's a spoken word and there's a written word and in my opinion when we're talking about the written words it, it no, I'm not saying it's like a, a good thing to necessarily missay things but I think it's understandable especially when we talk about the second thing that comes up a bunch because I I, I make a lot of fun about place names in other countries I think I made fun of uh, Germany having a town called Assen, which means eating in Germany, and I made fun of a lot of American place names, but the truth is, is yes, I do know a lot of people say, oh, the UK has retarded place names too, and it's like, yeah, I know that, so I figured why not dress both those things in today's video and talk about UK place names both being ridiculous and also being impossible to pronounce unless you just happen to already know them. Like, there's no way you can guess these just from reading the word, so let's go through them one by one and go through, and I guess, I say blow your mind, but like, educate you or something about ridiculous UK place names, because the most famous UK city, everyone knows the name of it because it comes up in movies and stuff, it's London, but even then, look at it, it's like London, really, like, getting London from that is really quite a stretch, like, it's not necessarily gonna be easy for everyone, but everyone understands it because it comes up in movies, but something that doesn't come up in movies and TV shows unless you're in the UK is this town right here, so you might be like, oh, that's named after the activity you have to do with the books, it's reading, right? No, I call it reading, like, kind of sarcastically a lot of the time, but it's actually pronounced Reading, and, like, again, every now and then I have a friend who's like, oh yeah, well, I'm gonna go to Reading, and everyone's like, oh no, it's actually Reading, so, yeah, Reading is famous because they have a huge festival and it's also just a medium-sized town just outside of London and uh, I think it's one of the edges of like Crossrail too. But yeah, that is uh, Reading, the town over here, which is again, I don't know why it's not Reading. Reading isn't a thing you can do in real life, but it's a thing you can do when it comes to place names because place names don't necessarily evolve in the same way that words evolve. So the sounds don't necessarily make a lot of sense. Like when you get to this place up here, again, this is uh, everyone's favorite place in the UK because again, we just ignore half the letters. You'd figure, oh, Gloucester, Gloucester, like something like that, right? And I say Gloucester, again, sarcastically because I'm terrible, but the actual pronunciation is Gloucester. That's right, ignore the U, ignore the C, and kind of ignore the E, just Gloucester. And yeah, it's <laughs> it's especially terrible, it's like Gloucester, you gotta like really throw some stuff in there, or maybe I'm just being ridiculous with that. My point being is this is pronounced Gloucester, and there's no way you'd know that just by looking at the word and being like, yeah, actually, I guess that kind of does make some sense. Uh, we've got Bristol over here, which is an easy enough one to know, but I want to point this place out because it's one of the larger cities in the UK. A lot of UK specific TV shows are filmed here, and also all pirate accents in like even like American movies and stuff come from Bristol for some reason. Like Bristol has some pirates, not that many, but yeah, if you ever hear a, a Bristol accent, they sound mo mostly like pirates because pirates in movies come from Bristol. Not all pirates in real life come from Bristol, but most movie pirates do, and that, oh, really more specifically the West Country, like this area right here. So there you go, fun fact. Uh, also in the area, we have a place called Bath, or Bath if you're from the north, uh, next to a place called Box, by the way. Uh, Bath is a really famous, like, spa town in the UK, like, it's a nice place to go if you're looking to do something a little bit wacky and, uh, or, like, a little bit historic, I guess it is, really, because uh, it's, a, it's a famous Roman bath town, and uh, some people pronounce it Bath. Even in the UK, there's not quite... Uh, you know, like a one-to-one -one thing, because you pronounce it pretty much the same way you say the word, and it means that there's two pronunciations in the same country, and I hear both non-stop, and I, I still honestly don't know which is the true correct, because there is no true correct. There's what half the country says and what the other half the country says, so you just kind of say, oh yeah, so that place that sounds like the thing that you, you wash in, yeah, that's 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 where I want to go tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, we head further to the west country, we head into Cornwall and uh, Devon, the kind of, again, very west, very, they're Celtic more than they are, like, they're, basically they're different people to the rest of uh, the rest of England, which sounds offensive, but like it's historically true or whatever. Here's, here's a fun map to kind of explain why place names get so wildly different across the UK, because th you know, this was at one point, not the whole time, but like you, you figure England, Scotland, Wales are like distinct units, but the truth is even England was divided pretty heavily, like there was even Norse involved there. Uh, at some point. So, yeah, when we look into this part of the place, you can see there's a few kind of ridiculously uh, pronounced names. So, like, oh, yeah, look at look at this. This right here, this must be barn staple, right? Uh, you know, like, it's a barn and it's a staple. Easy. You can't trick me with that one. No, it's barnstable. Uh, like it's a bee, and then you just say it kind of fast. Why do you say that? Why not, right? We've got land key over here. So you might be like, okay, so we've got land key there. So all this place, this place down here, this famous beach spot in the UK, 
Uh, you, it has its own airport, and it's like, it's one of the more famous, like, again, beach places in Cornwall. Uh, how would you pronounce this, you might say? Ah, well, it's New Quay, right? Ah, that, yeah, that, that makes total sense. But no, this is actually New Key. Uh, the reason for that is because it uses the key. Uh, Q-U-A-Y is how we say key in the UK, like a boat key. Don't ask me entirely why that's the case. It's just one of those things that's evolved. So in the American language, that's not true. And in, like, the English language as a whole, no one really ever says key. So, new key, you get tricked up and you say new K and like, oh ha ha, you silly person, you should know that Quay <laughs> is not actually pronounced that way. And uh, yeah, there's a few more ridiculous things like this. Uh, they're not so ridiculous down here in the, uh, you know, again, the West Country, the, the Cornwall, the, the things, etc. So you get places like, oh yeah, this is Penzance, not Penzance. Why, why is it Penzance? Just... You know, extra, you know, extra emphasis goes there all the time for reasons we're not too sure about. Uh, this is Falmouth right here. You might say Fal, you know, oh sorry, Falmouth right there, not Falmouth because you know why not? Same kind of thing. Uh, we've got Par over here, by the way. We've got Plymouth over here, or Plymouth as you might guess if you're gonna get it wrong. But no, it's Plymouth. Uh, same thing over here, by the way, of Torquay. I was so sure this is Torquay. It's like, oh yeah, I read it all the time in books. It's Torquay, and I say Torquay, and they're like, oh. Where's that? That doesn't sound like talky to me. And uh, yeah, I know my point there is a little bit ridiculous. We've got Exeter over here. You might say like Exeter. Nope, it's Exeter. Although that one's kind of easy enough to guess because again, there's a lot of similar place names to it. Um, and then we've got some of my favorite places near Exmouth over here because we've got Sandy Bay. Great way to name this like not very sandy looking place on Google Earth. I know it actually is sandy, but like <laughs> uh, still that's a thing. And then some of my favorite place names in like the UK as a whole, I guess, uh, come up around here. Because if you look around the area of here, we've got uh, not only places around here like, ah, oh, so another Sidmouth. We've got uh, Seaton over here. We've got Axmouth. And then, oh, wait, wait, what's that? Is that beer? Yeah, there's a, there's a place named beer here. Why not, right? And then just in case you're like even more simple than like, oh, they decided to name the place beer because they like it so much. This whole place is named Street. That's right, the town name is Street. So you could live on <laughs> on a street in Street if you really wanted to, and that would be just uh, too much. And honestly, it's probably not worth doing, but you could have that fun little joke when someone asks, what's your address? I live on a, uh, you know, 26 Street, Street. Ah, ha, 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 ha. And uh, that, I'm sure people would love that. They'd, you know, people at the, the you know, the places they're writing down your address, they'd love that. They, they'd laugh with you. They'd, they'd, <laughs> they'd totally be on board of that. So uh, yeah, then we've got a few more ridiculous places in the South of the UK, uh, places like uh, Weymouth. It's, it's mostly down to the mouth thing like Bournemouth and uh, Portsmouth. Fun fact, Portsmouth is actually the most populated island in the UK, uh, like most densely populated, because they have such a huge population. On what is technically an island, you know, most of Portsmouth is an island. There you go. Fun little fact for you right there. Um, the, most of the south of the UK is like pretty okay when it comes to place names. Like, again, you can logically be like, oh yeah, Brighton and Eastbourne and Bexhill and Hastings and Dover. Uh, but then you get to the, uh, you know, further north and things get tricky again. So yeah, I'm going to talk about the east of England first, which is north of London, but not really north in the whole of the UK, uh, because I, this is the most annoying thing to me, and I, it actually annoyed me once when I was on a plane. I go into Stansted a lot. It's one of the UK's, like, regional airport. Well, it's not regional, but it's a London airport, but it's, like, or it basically serves the east of England, too, and uh, the people there, they're American tourists, and they're like, oh, I'm really looking forward to taking the car down to, to Norwich this weekend, and again, it was like, it bugged me, but it's one that's like, yeah, you can totally see why people say that, because I have a friend from Norwich, I go there every now and then, because, like, Ipswich, Norwich, that, you know, Norfolk and Suffolk, two key counties of the East of England. But no, this is Ipswich, just dandy and fine. But this one, this one's Norwich. Uh, sorry, this is Norwich, not Norwich. And the reason for that is not really a great one, to be honest. It's just like, oh yeah, language evolved and people stopped saying the, uh, the W in there, even though they say it in the South one. Get used to it. Fun fact, by the way, Norwich used to be the most populated town in the UK uh, in like the 1200s. There's a common misconception that it was the capital of the UK. Like I heard that from my friend who lives there. Not actually true as it, com as it turns out, but that's the uh, fun little fact right there. So again, East of England, it's not too bad for place names besides that, because it's like, oh yeah, most of the stuff here, it's like, you can you can get it, Thetford or Wheating, you know, they're weird names, but they're not, you know, necessarily too hard to get to. This one's Witchford, for instance. That'd be a fun place to live right there. Uh, but then when, when we get to the North and the Midlands, that's where things get especially tricky. So just as a fun fact, because I find this interesting, if you go back and you look at the map I just showed you, the gap between the Danish kingdoms and the Saxons slash Mercia, etc., you can see the gap between them is pretty much the dividing line between the North and South, even to this day. Again, I the, 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 that's just a fun fact in my opinion that I think like, ah, oh, wonder if there's a, a cause and effect thing there for you. Uh, but I want to talk about some of the places in the North of the UK or above that line in what is called the Midlands, but what in the South we call the North. <laughs> so again, if you're offended, I'm sorry, Midlands people. I know you don't really exist, but let's talk about places in the Midlands regardless because we've got, uh, you know, places with ham in the name. They really confuse people. So, you know, Birmingham right here. Birmingham, right? Because it has ham at the end. No, we just don't say the A. Birmingham. 
Just just skip that A sound. We don't need it anyway. It's just it's just slowing us down. Same with Nottingham. People say Nottingham all the time. And it's like, I, that sounds so much cooler than Nottingham. Like, Nottingham sounds like a sad place filled with, you know, like, sad things. Nottingham sounds like a royal place with, with the king and Robin Hood, etc. So, you know, I'm actually kind of down with that one. I'm like, ah, uh, it's a funny way to pronounce it, but it's not, like, too horribly wrong. Uh, and fun fact, around Birmingham, there's a lot of ridiculous uh, suburb names, such as my favourite one right here, which is Bell End, because it's at the end of a street named Bell. Uh, and <laughs> so there you go, there's Bell End next to Bell Heath and a few other ridiculous places around here. Uh, just a place named Dudley, like, yeah, you know, guy named Dudley figured it'd be his own thing. Uh, you look around the place, you see a lot of more ridiculous ones. Hollywood is one of my favorite ones here, by the way. <laughs> like, yep, yeah, this this is the Hollywood people are thinking about. Like, when you dream of going to Hollywood, this is, you know, the one south of Birmingham. That's what we're talking about in the UK. We get really excited about this uh, small, kind of sad little village. Uh, then, of course, we've got this one right here. Um, this is... So, I have, again, I have a friend. He's born. He was born in the UK. He's Zimbabwean. And he has, like, again, he pronounces most things just fine. But, like, because he never, like, heard this before until, like, he said it's me. And he's like, oh, yeah, let's go to Leicester sometime. And it's like, oh, no. Sorry, mate. It's actually Leicester. Ha, 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 ha. I got you. You hadn't heard the word before. Therefore, you are wrong with its pronunciation. It's like, no. You're just like, oh, yeah, it's Leicester. I can see how you'd get that wrong. Uh, like, how th there's a bunch of words like this. And, you know, Leicester's one of them. Loughborough is one of them. Like, really? Loughborough? Or are you just going to ignore, like, some of that? Turn it into something else? Ignore some of that? Turn it into Loughborough? Yeah, that's just how you do it. Loughborough. Easy as that. Uh, Derby, which turns into Derby, because, you know that E can be an A. Why not? Why, why do letters need to be the things they, that they represent? That's that's not important. Again, if anyone says Derby, I'm like, I totally understand, man. You know, it's <laughs> it's not entirely obvious that that's Derby. Uh, and there's a few more, you know, examples as we go further and further north. Uh, as you look around, you're like, oh, yeah. When you look at, like, Wrexham or when you look at, like... Uh, not a great example, really, because you can just about get that one. Uh, when you look at, like, Bolton Lifride, or when, when, one of my favourite ones, uh, for the record, as we go even further north here, is uh, the top of the most northernmost town in England. So, again, England's then Scotland, the border. It's They're technically two countries, but they're not sovereign states. There's a key distinction there. Uh, but when you go to the very northernmost town in England, and you're like, oh, yeah, this is Berwick, Berwick on, tree, uh, on Tweed, right? Uh, it's famous because it's the most northern town, and also because it switched hands between the Scottish and English so many times that they don't really feel English or Scottish, they're like kind of in between, and because they were at one point not an either kingdom, or like officially by the war, it's like a widely known fact that like, oh yeah, uh, did you know Beric upon Tweed is still at war with Russia, because when we signed up for the war of Crimea, uh, you know, we, we forgot, we, we signed up Beric, but we've got to unsign them up in the peace treaty, not actually true, it just came out of nowhere, and it's like a fun fact to say, like, oh, that little town in England's at war with Russia, but still, this is Beric upon Tweed, you might think it's Berwick, or <laughs> and logically slow, but you would be wrong, dear sir. Uh, and then if we follow the uh, the paths, actually the railway up, you get places like Coldingham, Hamswood. Uh, one of my favourite ones up here, next to Cove, is uh, Coxburn Path, which you know you can you can think of fun stories as to how that place got named, right? Like, oh, this is the path where bad things happened. I guess we'll name the place so people you know remember that all the time. And then we get one of my favourite ones, which is the, the literally the capital of Scotland. It's the second largest city in Scotland. It's one of the most visited places in the UK. People fly in here all the time. But how would you... I, I still don't even quite get how this turns into what it is. It's Edinburgh. Like, and, I, and, then, and it's like, is it Edinburgh or Edinburgh? And it's more like Edinburgh, but you never can quite hear the difference. But one is distinctly right and one is distinctly wrong. And Edinburgh is not correctly. But people, if you say it, people are like, oh... Edinburgh. How how could you assume that the word that says Edinburgh with a silent H at the end, or like it you know, sounds a bit like that? How could you assume that you you oh? <laughs> and it's like I mean it's it's uh, whatever. Like and I obviously I never personally have ever said Edinburgh. Like oh yeah, it's Edinburgh. It's just when I, I I've said Edinburgh my whole life, and then when I learned how it's spelled, I was like why it said exactly the same as like Loughborough or like um you know in Middlesbrough you know all these different places but Loughborough is spelled like the, you know spelled like this borough you know the full word uh Middlesbrough if i'm not mistaken sometimes it's just spelled borough and uh in this case it's just spelled brow and then Edinburgh it, you know they're pretty much the same sound is like berg <laughs> reasons for that you know get used to it yourself so anyway let's go through some more fun places because we've got scone uh, just over the north here which you know, that's a cute little place name. But we've also got more ridiculous ones, because, again, I can't even try and pronounce these ones. Like, I'm not not that level of Welsh pronunciation left. But look at anything on the island of Holyhead, or Holly Island. Uh, Holyhead is the port that connects uh, England, or the whole of the UK, really, to, to, to Dublin, and Ireland as a whole. But look at all these place names, and, like, 
they're pretty darn similar. And in fact, looking at Wales as a whole, like I always, whenever I look at a map, I'm like, this is surprisingly similar. And like, it's impossible for me to uh, say any of these names correctly. So I'll just do them hilariously wrong. Like, Lalandrigerod's Wells. And then we've got, uh, next to Lalandrigerod Wells, we've got Lalandwidded Wells and Lalandgergmarch Wells. And <laughs> you get the point. There's lots of ridiculously similar places, very, very close to each other. And uh, we've also got some of my other favorite places in the UK, such as, uh, you know, just north of Barrow in Furness. Uh, you've got places like uh, Cockermouth, and you might be like, or oh, Cockermouth, sorry. Uh, you might be like, so what's the deal with Cockermouth? How, how's that become the name? And uh, the story is quite fascinating because they opened their little village, or at the time, on the mouth of the Cocker River. That's right, the the Cocker River. You might think I'm I'm joking around that. No, it's the Cocker River, and they opened it at the mouth. So at the mouth of the Cocker River, you know, the Cocker River where its mouth is. That's where they settled down their town, and that's why they called the Cockermouth place. There is the Sainsbury's in Cockermouth, and so on and so forth. You get the point of the kind of kind of silly right there. And you know, my point with this video is what I'm saying here is that when it comes to pronunciations, there's two. When it comes to words, you know, place names, there's two ways to say a thing. There's the there's the spoken word. There's the written word. So many times I've known one but not the other, and you can't connect the two really at all. You can connect them if you know both, and you're like, oh, I guess that must be that. Like if if I tell you about a place called Reykjavik, and then you see on a map, uh, you know, like oh, there's you know, rake, actually that's spelled pretty much the same, but <laughs> if I tell you about Lelubiana and you're like, oh, I'll try and Google Lelubiana and you, you know, you, you might have, and then you see later on down the line, like, oh yeah, there's the capital of Slovenia. You'll be like, oh yeah, I guess that might be the same place I've heard about, but it's not instinctive, the gap between the two. Honestly, the spoken word and the written word, they're two entirely different languages and they overlap most of the time, but in place names, they, they don't overlap most of the time. They overlap some of the time, a lot of the time, but not even most of the time. When you go to like cities and major places, especially in other languages and such, you get really, really tricky ones. Like every capital city is really easy to say, but how easy is it to say, you know, this place right here? Try and say it right now on the spot. Oh, you don't know that. And uh, given that these videos are live, I really like the live format because I think, you know, scripted, scripted videos have their place. I like scripted. Uh, I think there's a lot of benefit because you get information density, but this channel isn't about scripted videos most of the time, you know, every now and then I'll do something like that. But it's mostly about like, yeah, this is just, I want to talk about geography. Let's go on a little discovery, you know, voyage together. Oh, that sounds super gay, but like, <laughs> you know, that's, that's what the channel is kind of about, right? It's like, yeah, let's do a thing. So if I decide like, yeah, off the cuff, this would be relevant for me to talk about some village in the south of Romania. Like, this is probably a city, but like, Craiova, if I get that wrong, like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but there's no way for me to instinctively know that. And unless you're saying I should preemptively look up every place I might want to mention, because obviously if I'm making a whole video about, um, you know, this country, I can't call it Ickyland, or I can't make a video about this place and be like, oh yeah, this is Switzerland, that's how you pronounce that. Um, or, oh yeah, this is Finland. I, obviously that's silly, and saying their capital city wrong or their biggest city wrong, um, you know, that is kind of ridiculous too. Like, I should know how, uh, for instance, Stockholm is pronounced, or how Gothenburg is pronounced, or how Bergen is pronounced. I, you should know these things, and obviously. But if you're gonna, like, r you know, randomly go and be like, oh yeah, and in Ecuador, <laughs> they've got their, uh, you know, city of Cuenca, and Machalala, and, La you know, La Libertad. Uh, there's, there's some really, really tricky places around the name, is my point. Like, try and, try and say any of these words, it's tricky. So you just give it your best shot. And unless you're saying I should just not say them, so I don't say it wrong, that's why I say something's wrong sometimes, and I try not to. I'm trying my best to work out how to say these Polish cities, or these Hungarian, uh, you know, villages, but it's not something that you can just easily know, because languages are different, and places names are wild, and anyway, that's my point. Hope you all enjoyed it. What I'm saying with this video, though, to just kind of end this one on a fun one, is that I, <laughs> personally, as, as someone who makes these videos, I'm not making them because, wait, actually, uh, <laughs> sorry, I, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and line this one up, because I, I lost my place. I, I was gonna go with a fun one, but what I'm saying here is that I'm not a crook. I'm, I'm not a crook at all. That's not me. And what, I, what I'm really saying is that you should, I guess, uh, if, if I had to be precise, you should pity me on this one. Like, you should really pity me when I, when I get something wrong and that you shouldn't... <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to show a couple more ridiculous ones by the end here. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, second channel. Wait, actually, before I go to the end here, I'm going to the Dominican Republic in uh, like a few days, like six days now. And if you have any fun facts about it, or you're there or something, uh, email me at ibx2cat at gmail.com and, and, or just write in the comments and I'll see what I know about that. So thank you very much for watching the video. Uh, and now for the real second channel, don't care, goodbye.